Hey, watch fans. Uh, doing a quick update on the uh, JLC uh, Master Geographique, the dual time. Uh, I have it now on the new Camille Fournay strap. It's a gray strap. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit. There we go. Yeah. I'm not the best video maker, but you guys get the picture here. Uh, the watch, for some reason, looks quite big on my hand, but it's actually not. It's a uh, camera angle. Uh, so yeah, I got this replaced. I had the black original strap, uh, which you know is a little too formal. This is, I think, a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, practical, practical, versatile, uh, and um, it's kind of. I think it's a uh, what is the color? It's taupe, not really gray. I'm calling it gray, but it's not. Uh, so again, the dual time. Uh, it's actually, I've been wearing this quite a bit. It was actually quite useful when traveling. As you can see, you got two time zones. Uh, you adjust it with, uh, over there on the left, you can uh, shift time zones. So again, I'm on, the, I'm on the west coast of the US. I got a uh, time here in Paris because I need to uh, know the time there uh, in the morning for business reasons. Uh, and um, you have the calendar. Now the, the hands are blued is uh, pretty nice uh, let me show you the back okay so we have the uh, I guess what are they called the hunter case pretty nice it's you know it's uh, it's actually it's about a half an ounce of solid gold over there so that's about a thousand bucks again I, I prefer not to have it because I just want to have access to the movement and yeah it, it adds weight to the watch which I don't need let me see if I can get a close-up uh, it's okay Will this work? Okay, this is about as as good as it's gonna get here. Uh, nice movement. It, not, again, nothing. Uh, you know, je je le uh, They don't. Uh, is it turning? There we go. Uh, it's not uh, not amazing, uh, beautiful movements, uh, but uh, good enough. There you go. It's closed, and uh, let me zoom out again. Actually, let me see if I can give you. Here we go. Watch is upside down. Again, you can pick these up for about ten grand, nine grand even. Again, this is rose gold. Uh, really nice, kind of pearlescent type of dial, uh, and uh, you know you can see they have this kind of it's. Uh, the the sub dials are kind of inset. Is that the right word I'm using? It's really nice. It's really really nice. Uh, the um, t uh, power reserve I actually find to be pretty useful because these things do run down after I think about 30 hours, uh, and yeah, it's 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 actually quite useful uh, to have it. I've never had a power reserve before. Uh, it is pretty pretty useful. Uh, the second hand, uh, again, it's blued. I don't know if you can see it. Again, I'm not the world's greatest videographer here. Uh, I, I really don't need a second hand. I'm, it doesn't do anything for me. Um, the, uh, but I do like the, uh, the day, the day uh, wheel. Uh, that is uh, pretty nice. Uh, I like to see that instead of having just, you know, a, uh, a window, window date. I like to see the whole thing moving. Uh, by the way, the time zone, the time zone also see that dark the dark little thing that over there uh, that tells you that it is night where they are so it's uh i guess it's 4 a.m it's 4 a.m in uh in uh, paris right now does that make sense no seven ten yeah that makes sense okay it's 4 a.m in paris it's uh 7 p.m here on the west coast of america uh and uh again very nice watch uh, it is, you know, it's a little thick. It's a little thick. I do prefer thinner dress watches. Uh, it is 37 millimeter, I think. It, it, it's, it wears, I mean, it wears like a pretty big watch. Again, if it, on my wrist, it feels like a 40 millimeter. So, you know, again, if, uh, if, you, if you like a bigger watch, this is it. It's not too huge. Uh, it's actually, I think it's a better size than most modern Patek Philippe's, which are now 38 millimeter. And they have the big lugs, which I don't like. They don't, they don't fit me too well. Uh, but uh, this is pretty good. Uh, Camille Fournay. Uh, by the way, the strap. Uh, great service. I uh, got this done in Paris. And um, they, uh, they did it in about three weeks. Now, again, if, if, if you are getting a Patek Philippe strap, 
uh, the factory strap. I think Camille Fournier actually makes those straps. Uh, and if you get it from Patek, it's going to take you uh, nine months. It's going to take you six months, nine months. Uh, Camille Fournier does it in um, a couple of weeks. And by the way, look at this. I got the slightly, you know, the edge, kind of this beveled edge, which I like. Uh, and I only put in, you know, two holes. No, I think I put in three holes. No, I think I may have put in two holes. Uh, by the way, yeah, deploy, nice deployment class. Again, all solid gold. Um, I think this is the best value watch I have in the collection. Bank, most bang for the buck. I could say without a doubt my first JLC, although technically the uh, Audemars Piguet I have, the Royal Oak, is a JLC movement. Um, and um, yeah, I, I, I'm a big fan of JLC. I would like, I would, you know, I actually think they have some great watches. Uh, and um, unfortunately, I think they've been raising their prices now, uh, which I, you know, they're a little bit crazy. Some of their retail prices are now kind of ridiculous. I don't think you're getting value for money at this point with the JLC if you're buying them new. Um, the way to go is get them used. Like again, this watch is. You know, about ten grand. I mean, unbelievable deal. Unbelievable deal. Um, I think if you can pick these up for ten grand, you're it's it's money in the bank. Money in the bank. Uh, and uh, yeah, great, great quality watch. Um, time is perfect. Everything is perfect. I really, really uh, thrilled with it. Very readable. Uh, pure class. Pure class, as they say. Uh, again, could it be a little bit thinner? Uh, it can, I guess it can. Well, I don't know. I'm not a watchmaker. I don't know if it can. But uh, yeah, otherwise, um, yeah, I would like to be a little bit. And the, and the strap is a little thick. I, 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 you know, it's it's what is it called? Uh, uphol not upholstered. But, you know, they put in a little bit of uh, padding in there. It's a little bit, a little, a little thicker. I, I prefer to be able to maybe. A millimeter or so thinner, uh, two millimeters thinner, uh, but uh, you know it's kind of a thicker watch, so they ma kind of matched it uh, to the original strap. I think that Camille Forte also makes a JLC straps, uh, but uh, yeah, it's quite good. It's still, I, I haven't quite broken it in yet, so as you can see, it's still pretty much um, it's still a little bit stiff. Although I've worn the watch probably 25, 25 times or so. Um, so again, uh, dual time, JLC, uh, if you're looking at dual times, again, Audemars Piguet, uh, their dual time that they have on the Royal Oak, and the other watches up until recently is exactly this movement, it's the JLC movement. Now, uh, you're going to be paying a lot more if it's the Royal Oak, you're going to be paying, you know, 30 grand, uh, but again, same exact dial lay actually you don't have the uh, you don't have this thing at the bottom with the uh, cities you don't have that part that they don't give you on uh, on uh, the uh, APs uh, you do have it here so yeah it's, it's interesting JLC always gives you a little a little extra they really throw a lot into these watches sometimes almost too much they kind of like to show off um, and uh, they, they pack a lot of stuff onto these watches I think it's a good. I think it's a good thing. So yeah, definitely, good value for the money. Um, JLC, great brand. Uh, I do think they're getting a little bit out of hand with their new price increase or their prices in general in the new watches. It's just a little bit crazy. You know, I think the problem with JLC again, I've mentioned this before, is they have too many watches and like you can't have the same watch in. You know, in gold and steel, I think it's just too much. I think they should have a little more exclusivity, uh, rather than having you know all the same models and just you know different metals. Um, but that's again, that's that's my opinion. Uh, means nothing. Um, and that's it. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Leave all your na nasty, vicious comments below. Make sure you click the like, subscribe button or the unlike button and unsubscribe button, whatever works for you. And I'll see you in the next one.